Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spider control. I have a huge red back spider infestation at my house. I noticed some unusual web at a control box at the front of our house. I used my iPhone to look under this box and I'm pretty sure there's a red back spider hiding away in here. And that's where this story will pick up from. This is about three days further on. I've got some shocking developments going on here. I want you to take a close look down here. I've got a very sneaky suspicion they are red back spiderlings. Looks like an egg sack has hatched. At the moment they're all a bit scared and running away because I've disturbed the web there. Let me just clear some of the things out of here. I'm going to open up this box. I'll find out what's going on inside. I'm noticing I'm taking a lot of care when I move things because there can be things living underneath. Maybe the spider's moved up inside this box once I get it off. And considering the red back spider problem I've got at my place, I wouldn't be surprised if anything. I was expecting to see spiders up inside there, but that looks clean. Well, this control system here, I can see spider web here. Uh, I can see that there's actually a hole that goes down through to underneath. I was going to firebomb this, but if I firebomb down there, all well, the fire is going to come up here and destroy this box. I may need a chemical solution. I've got two chemical solutions here. I might spray that one second, but first off I'll try this raid. I'm trying to spray down the back there and maybe the spider will come running out the front. I'm going to put a lot of chemical in this. I'm going to really go for it because I think uh, there's a massive problem here with red backs. And hopefully uh, we may see her running out when she's had enough chemical spray. And I am just going to pump it in and pump it in and pump it in until, well, until the can's empty. I'm really thinking that's going to be the only solution here. Sooner or later, something's going to give. Uh, something is going to run out of there. There's no sign of any redback spider yet. I can see plenty of web like they leave. Looking like a white Christmas for them. Yeah, believe me, I'm getting right in there. Trying to get as much spray in as I possibly can. I can't see how anything can survive that amount of chemical. I'll get rid of this spider web here. Well, one way I can tell if the spider is, gonna live in, is still living in there is that the web will come back again tonight. This web has been uh, put out every night. I keep taking away, the spider keeps putting it out. In my medic spraying, I did come across this thing in there. I've got no idea what that is. Uh, whatever it is, it's most probably dead now. Yeah, there's lots of evidence of spider webs and goodness knows what all around this box. There's even a snail there, and I think that snail has been caught up in the web. He's most probably dead. I'll just see what I can flush out from under there. I'd hate to think what's going to come out. Bits of leaves, maybe we'll get a spider. Maybe we won't get anything. Well, I'll tell you one thing, it's very wet with that chemical spray. This is reminding me of why I don't like a chemical solution. Apart from it being chemical, sometimes you just don't see the dead spider. Uh, at least when I was hitting with a flamethrower, you could see a result and actually find a burnt carcass. Uh, I can't find anything here, which is uh, a little bit alarming. Oh my goodness, there's a snail caught up down in that chemical zone. I better save the snail, get him out of harm's way and put him somewhere up here. Let's hope that spider spray doesn't kill snails. Man, he was right down in the middle of all that. So I've come along a few hours later and I'm going to wash all this down and making sure I get all the debris out and spraying underneath it. Hopefully we will flush out the spider that has been so elusive and so tricky to find. And that's one thing about redbacks, uh, they are very good at hiding out. A lot of the leaf litter and debris have washed out to here and I'm sure there's going to be a spider here somewhere. I'm not going to give up uh -huh, until I find it and I've just found the spider. It is a large female redback. Finally! I have got this beauty. This is the spray that I'll now spray inside the box and around the box before I close it up. Uh, there's no guarantee that it won't come back. As I found out at my mum's place, the spiders just keep coming back to the same spot if it's the right spot for them. And my son brought out the monster jam truck so we can see that red back spider in all its glory. And I really do hope this video has some higher education about controlling spiders if you've got problems with them around your home. These spiders are nocturnal spiders. You don't really see them out during the day. Uh, one of the big clues to finding these guys is identifying their web. Once you understand their web style and the sort of area where they like to live, uh, then it's a problem of nailing the spiders. As you saw in this case here, it actually took a fair bit of work, a lot of chemical and a big flush out to get the spider. It certainly wasn't going to come out and be an easy kill for me. One freakish thing that i found I can do with these spiders, let me just spin it around, if I tweeze at the back I can make the legs sort of pump. 
Watch this for something weird. Look at that. Pumping the spider. You can make him dance. I'm dancing to the disco. I'm dancing all night, yeah. And if the beat gets too loud, guess what happens? Whoa! He can stretch his legs out and then goes poo. And then there's no more dancing for Mr. Spider. Bad luck. Well, on that graphic and very grisly note, mind you, I'm not crying that this spider's dead. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.